right already. This race. Uh, and then, too, on top of that, DL ain't no weak act now. So be careful what you wish for. Careful mm. following that motherfucker. Be careful what you wish for. But I have never in my whole career, I've never demanded to go on last. Unless you were paid to go on last. Yeah. And, and even then, I, shit, you give me the money, I'd be happy to open the show. Wow. I mean, when we I mean joined, I've never. When we joined together, never. Don with Don, uh, Jay and and George, didn't they want you to go last at some point? You said well, no. Well, they have asked me to go last and not giving me last money. That's the problem. Can't that has vote. happened to me many times. Recently, that happens mm. to me all the time. Right. I said, no, it ain't gonna work like that. Right. You know, I mean, Get I got that last money, but as far as me getting what I deem to be fair. And then the man and I go on there, you got to be fucking crazy. He said, Shit. I've done big shows and I'm headlining and they, they have some comics on there that's not so great. They have an intermission. That's the worst thing for you going last and they have an intermission. I hate going up after intermissions because people are still walking back. They don't left. Well, you mean like opening the whole show. That's yeah. why, that's why, and it's not giving the credit that is due yeah. a lot of times. That's why a good MC is necessary. Yes, sir. So you back. come back after that mission, he's both to go up there and bullshit yes, sir. and let the people resettle right. and regather himself. And uh, I don't know who was hosting the show in Detroit, but whoever the host was, I don't know what occurred, but in between Monique, not because she was so great and funny, mm -hmm. but just because of the atmosphere that she has set, you gotta set it the back host should have been able to go up and in 10 or 15 minutes Garrett, at least calm the people down. But, right. but there are there are only but so many great hosts Very in few. this in this business. Very few. Uh, George Wilborn is a great host. He's wow. A great host. We just did DC. He's Mike Bonner is a great host. Mike Bonner is a great host. You know, host. And, and so there's only so many <laughs> great hosts that can that can host a show. Okay, okay, Bo. Bo is pointing to him. I yes, gotta say, Bo, he was pointing to himself. Bo, a, he was pointing to himself. I could watch Bo all night. He won my favorite cup. I well, could watch, watch him all night. night. Nah, not all night. He's he gonna night. fall eventually. In that Come tenth round, he's gonna watch him all night. Here's your good first show. That second show. <laughs> Come on now, come on now. I can watch him all I've been, night. I've been hosting all my, my career. It's some people, Tony Tone, I can watch him all fucking night. Oh, Sean yeah. Jones, Big Shot, I can watch him all watch night Tony long. Tone all the time, they, yeah. they, so there's only so many great hosts. DL is actually a great host. Yeah, yeah. He ended up hosting. He ended up hosting Kings. He D was DL no, he went to school for hosting. I, I, I he hosted all I'm after sorry? TK in LA. Hosted yeah. all the rooms. Then DL came and hosted all the comedy rooms in LA. Right. He hosted all our That's how he got the Comic View? It was Robin Yeah, Comic View was his show. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was Robin Harris was a great host. People loved Robin. He could talk about you. Bernie Mac was a good host. Yeah, right. He could talk about you. But you have to be endearing. You got to be charming. People have to love you. And like when Nene, when I did the Girls' Night Out for Laugh and Nene Leaks, I said, Nene, you have to change the that housewives persona from being a bully. Ah, for sure. People have to like you in comedy. Right, 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 right. You can't be the bully and they let people like see you. a different you. She's really a nice lady. Right. So you can be a bully later, see. but you got to give that. Right. People need to see another you. Got she you. is nice. I know. She is a nice lady. Nice 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 hold on, Bo, because I cannot finish my statement. You got? Can I say? Can I say? No, I can't finish this statement. Yeah, go ahead. What's wrong with your people? Get you, get you some new people. Well, you know it's, it's that man woman thing. It is. But but she was a nice lady and everything. But I told her, I said, Nene, you don't have to really do no jokes. Between me, Melanie, La, uh, Lonnie Love, Adele, Tiffany was on. You have 120 years worth of comedy right here. And you are not a comedian. You are hired as the draw, but you're not a comedian. Change clothes a couple times. Tell us some gossip about them bitches on the show or something like that. But keep it moving. We're going to do what we got to do. Mm. Then she said, well, you know, my people. I said, you need a writer. She said, well, I have a gay Jew white boy. I said, what would a gay Jew white boy know about a black woman from the South? Thank you. Yeah. What, what would he know? Yeah. And, and that's and, and, how and I And became. then she had all them tour dates and all them canceled because people went to see her and 15, 20 minutes and it canceled, 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 canceled. Yeah, you know, whatever. Shit. You know, and so I just feel like but female comedians, we we have to work a lot harder. And when when these kinds of things happen, I know, I know. <laughs> 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 
I fucks with your mom. I fucks with your mom. I, I fucks with you, Mo, but I, you wrong on this one, Mo. I fucks with you. I rise with you all the way till the wheels fall off, but you wrong on this what one. What Mo say? She probably call me and cuss me. Oh, you talking about Monique? Monique. She oh, probably call me. Oh, that nigga right there. Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no. She probably call me and cuss me out. She'll be on social media. Hope ain't shit. She ain't never gonna be shit. I'm, I'm waiting on man. it. I'm waiting on it. I love Monique. Yeah, I love her too. I love Will Smith. But you know, when DC thank you wrong, DC just thank you wrong. Right. Ain't nobody slapping me. Ain't nobody slapping me. Now you can come and talk, but you can't even do that when I'm up on stage. You come try to snatch the mic. Right. I ain't Trailer Swift. <laughs> but but you know, it's not you, her name. When it's your time to talk, help your motherfucking self. We can have a conversation. Help your motherfucking self. But now, you know, it is what it is. I love Monique. DL, my boy. DL's your boy. I think she was wrong. Okay, that's I, it. I do. T uh, is she wrong? Um, I think she was wrong. This nigga, this nigga here. If she was not the bona fide I, headliner, she's wrong. Now we don't know all of that. Then that's something else. Co-headlining. No, well, it didn't have a say. Thing. There's, there's no such thing. There's no such thing. Somebody gotta go last. Let me, let me, let me tell you this. Somebody gotta go if last. If you look at a ticket or a flyer, yep, and you, don't and you see the different lines on the flyer, you see the, the lines Hitler. on the flyer. Deal. What is the first line called? It, it, it's the 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 headline. Uh, the headline. It's a fuck on the top of the line, and that's what he said. Hold on, DC. The ticket now was in, in his mind. name, and let, he was let, the best let, bitch on the flyer. Let's keep in mind, we got to do radio. <laughs> we got to do radio promotion too. So somewhere down the line, she knew. That who was headlining? Uh, well, maybe, so maybe not. You covered that. that. Might, they might not have you covered that, but I've headlined for people that have radio shows, so that doesn't totally apply. No, no, I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Doing, I, I've headlined some shows where somebody was on the show who has a radio show, but I was head closing the show. No, he's talking about like when we go to the city and go to the radio and do press yeah. and everything like that. Now, what he said, like he, I think he's really reiterating what he said earlier was DL has a show and they can get free advertising. No, 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 not this time. Nah. You're saying that the promoter, that when you go to do the press to, prom to promote the show and yeah. you get to the radio station, everybody knows who's positioned. <laughs> this is a segment well. called yeah. Translating yeah. Bo P. Barnes. She knows. <laughs> she knew. In other words, she knew well ahead of time. That's the point. She knew when they got the memo deal. She knew when they got the ticket. She that's knew when they did that. That's she's known. The reason but. that is not applicable, I keep telling you, she said today, Live on 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 a little uh, Wendy Williams Instagram or whatever, oh. she said it was premeditated. She said she has been waiting for years to get what? to this point where she could rip a hole in DL's ass oh. because she was dissed on his radio show. You leave with that years ago. She did an interview. DL wasn't there that day. The girl that interviewed her said, "Let's play a game called Would You Rather." And the question she so Monique said she said okay let's go and the girl said would you rather your husband fuck Lee Daniels with a condom or some woman without a condom and she said she was highly offended which is strange for a woman that told Oprah suck her dick but anyway the deal wasn't there. <laughs> let me let me finish the damn story like both he said both he said what the shut the hell up woman. <laughs> <laughs> the thoughts of DC so, Curry. So, so she got insulted, got off the air, demanded DL's personal phone number, called DL and said, DL, your people gonna get me on the air and ask me this ignorant shit. And she said DL's response was, hey, that's what the fuck we do. And she said from that point, she said at some point, I will see your ass in public and I'm going to show you what the fuck I Oh. Do. So it was all premeditated. So the contract oh, shit you has a, nothing to do. The contract is Why would you not? So, so, so huh? we win. No, no, DL on his money. memo deal, <laughs> on his memo deal, broken. he had the right to pick who he wanted on the show. Right. That to me is the headliner. Right. No, but that's so, no, no, no. You're right. So, so you're right. Not Tim. So no, now, you're right. No, I'm not saying you. If, 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 if Don we, has a show and he's the she headliner and he gets the right to pick who is on his show, that's Tim. the headliner. 
And he has refused to work with her. And he said, against his people, against his better judgment, he said, okay, fuck it. I'll do it this time. And then that's when she, that's when she been so, laying so there. So now, if she had to be, she 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 been the bigger woman, it's okay. She's always the bigger I woman. All that, I'm going to squash this and go out here where she yeah. can't be the bigger man. Huh? Well, I'm going to go out here and squash this and let, let, let us work together and do this thing, even though I said all this back thing. And he he's the bigger man by saying, even though I know you feel that way about me, I've heard all this thing about you, I'm going to work with you. D so, can yeah. we say that she was wrong all the way around? I think all so. All the way around. All the way around. All the way around. I th- and, I'm, and I'm saying that and with love because I, I mean, well, you know, I didn't know I, I love premeditated. Monique. That makes it even more wrong. I now. love Monique, but I mean, she herself said premeditated. So it was not all about the contract, like you said. Right. It was not all about the contract. No, about and if you that hell bent, if you that hell bent on, you don't open for no motherfucking body. Then why the fuck did you do it? I don't buy that shit. Well, I love you people. I love all the people in Detroit and oh, my okay. babies. Well, let me ask you this, DC. DC Hope Ambo. Daddy. Now I said about the country. No one wants to go back to Daddy. So now Daddy knows you finna go ahead and do this bullshit. And we working on all this. So let me tell you something, man. You're giving Daddy more credit. Let me let me tell you something. Yeah. I think you think you're giving Daddy more credit. That Daddy is like a sunny boy. <laughs> I, I really don't think Daddy is running. I think you give Daddy thing. a bit more credit. Not that I blame him. Hey man, ride that train. Yeah. No, he is running. Huh? He I I, running. I think it not. Well, let me ask you this: uh, all not. three of you, and you guys, you know. So, is there anybody in the in the entertainment industry where you can't wait to see them again to say something slick to them, or do you yeah, just? Do you, I came down here to. Oh this wow! It's so so bad. Bad. <laughs> it's the, I came specifically. Help yourself. Help yourself. Get in line. The fuck out. Help you help yourself, yeah. knock yourself out. <laughs> but as a smart move, you got all men comics in the public. You got Cat William, but well he's out of there right now. You had Dave Chappelle, you had uh Will Smith and Chris Rock. No no female doing anything. Maybe Moni said, hey, I wouldn't say no female doing anything now. Well, my, my, my no, he means some like publicity. talking shit like that. Oh, 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 oh controversy. Get, get some publicity, some controversy going behind a female. I got TV. You, I don't know if she done shot the show with 50 cents already. I don't know if she done did the deal with Lee She Davis is good already. as fired from that. So now I got some buzz behind me. I got some buzz behind me. Are people going to follow this buzz? I think if she wanted to do it, she could have played the victim better. Well, I, I let me tell you about an interesting better. comment I got on my Instagram. Uh-huh. I just happened to look at it. Uh-huh. And of course, people were texting me, asking me what yeah. I thought, blah, blah, uh-huh. blah. I got an interesting, actually two or three women said they were insulted that she would imply that it was a gender argument. And they were saying, if you just think you better than the man, you better than me. But they were saying, as black women, they were embarrassed. I'm quoting them now. Mm-hmm. They were embarrassed that she would try to turn that into a woman thing. A woman thing. Yeah. And, and, oh. and they were saying the nerve of her to take the gig and do the, and then go up and they came to hear they basically said with the else they came to hear a show. a show and they listening to her rant and bitch for 30 minutes tell some jokes you know i know sometimes shit be on your cut because you know when i'll be talking sometimes you know I may go off on a sentimental rant for two or three minutes, um, but, but, but but you but know Don, you she started you running across act. the stage too. Now you think you're classy oh. though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Ah, ah, get in there. Yeah. You gotta put your you gotta put your head real low though. You gotta go. You've been wanting to do that since we was in the elevator. I gotta show you a picture. He the headliner. That's how you know he the headliner. I gotta let him do whatever I want to tell him. Right, right. I gotta let him do whatever. You wanna work or not? You wanna work or not? You start playing this. Let me suck your titty. That's what they do to us. Oh, I just want to suck a little bit. Just let me suck a little bit. Let me just suck a little bit. She ran up and down the stairs. She ran, boy. She was running. 
It'd have been funny if she's fat. Everybody no, be trying to show that. off their weight loss that. journey no, and shit, right? And I, got, I got some shit for her motherfucker. You think so? You think she'll come for you? She probably won't because she probably don't think I'm relevant enough. I don't think she'll come for you. I think she thinks like you, me, both. I think we're beneath her. We're not. So let me just say this then if she thinks that. And so, because she didn't came for Kim. Her and Kim still beefing about some bullshit. She didn't came for Vivica. Did, she on a rant. She, you next, Don. She yeah, on a she rant. Gonna talk, she somebody on gonna rant. say something about Vivica's face. She got a lot of people that's go through before she get down to me. Oh, she coming this race. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. deal with a preacher. She lives She'll here. be the biggest star we ever had. Yeah, yeah. red back she then. Live <laughs> she lives here. She lives here now? She lives here. She lives right. You, you know, Monique lives right off Cascade. No, I'm, I'm just down there. <laughs> I got history with Monique, but I ain't got no bad history. But she lives here, right? I don't she know what she is. No, these days, why don't you leave me alone? Why are you? What? She live in Mary? I mean, yeah. I think oh, so. she lives man. That was cool, man, when she called me to do a television show when she was shooting here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I, I, had, I had no problem. I went there, stayed in my lane. Did the show I mean we ain't had no beef No nothing Like I said I've been knowing I You know when you have 30 something years you have to, But when you You know people say Certain things about Certain people People say things about Steve and different people And stuff That's not my relationship I, I My relationships with comedians Is based on My relationship with you I don't know what that. this and that or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just only go by how you treat me right. and me treat you. And so if I hear about you and say Don is an ass, I speak to you and I keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I don't be in your space. I ain't asking you for shit because I've heard what people have said about you. But I only go by how you treat me. What I don't know what you didn't did to them other people. What I don't you know what they didn't did to you. So I don't go on it like that and okay. everything. But I just okay. like okay. Well, why are you and Sheriff fall out? Oh. Okay, you want to know? You didn't I, we, say we friends go, of fifteen go years. Holy, let us start on our own. Every time, every time I come here, we gotta go through this whole motherfucking story once again. Let it out, okay, me and because it's a good story. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I love this story. You ain't really gotta go now. Come on, uh, we. We didn't fall out. I just decided after 15 years that I could not be her. I did not want to be her friend anymore because it was toxic. That's when called you have falling a friend out. And every morning they call you and you have been the, be the best oh, friend that you can be to her. You know, I have, um, <laughs> I have, uh, I used to take short upon her car to get her rent money. I used to okay. give her money. Oh, I used wow. To do all That's why y'all ain't friends because you be putting a business you out know, in the streets. I, I used to <laughs> tour with her. We used to go on the road together. We got stories to the grave together. That suit she wore on Def Jam. Don't take her to the grave. Y'all ain't friends no more shit. <laughs> Come on with it. That suit she wore on Def Jam the second time, that double breasted blue suit. I bought that suit for Cheryl. Yup. Yeah, y'all remember that? Last night Hope was here. I oh, bought that. She <laughs> talked about that blue suit. That blue suit's a motherfucker. Like Monica Whiskey, she so keeps it I'm holds the one on. Who told her why she wasn't getting on Def Jam? Yeah. She called me up and she said, "Why am I not getting?" On? I said, and you oh, told "I called her." I said, "Let me call around and make some calls." And I said, "I think it's because Adele, because Adele was being managed with Russell Simmons and them at the time. Remember, it was what? Adele and Ricky, Adele was well, and Joe, and all of them. Remember, they were hosting that time afterward yeah. and after Martin left." And so, and you talking about Ricky? Uh, Ricky, not Ricky Harris, not my, Ricky my, Harris, Ricky my boy. Harris, my boy, yeah, rest out well, of LA. Ricky. Yeah. And um, and so. I told her and so she drove to New York and got on that way. That's why when you see the first one, she had on some leggings and some sandals. That's what she had. That's right. all she had. Right. I'm happy for Cheryl. People tell me all the time you should call her and apologize. I haven't done nothing to her. I just decided <laughs> one day after 15 years, I did not want to be her friend no more. And that is my right. I ain't done nothing. I ain't done nothing to I her. I ain't done nothing to her. I don't do nothing. I don't start these fires down. I just put these motherfuckers out and they just okay, don't work that way. Okay, Monique. Okay, Monique. I don't bother nobody. Okay. I didn't start this fire. Okay, my mm, sweet baby. I'm babies. happy for her. I'm happy how she plays. Cheryl is the most, one of the most brilliant people I've ever met in my life. She is brilliant. The way she played them and got her. Now she the only bitch on that show left. Mm. And she on the prime time She making two, three million dollars a year I'm uh, proud look, of look, her Look, ace of spades I'm proud of her And stuff So I don't have I'm no, proud I don't of have no beef with her so, When oh. I was sick And had my gallbladder removed About eight or nine wow, years ago Wow, wow I got a beautiful mm. bouquet from In the hospital I didn't know so, who it was from I finally read the card It was from her So now, we got this little beef But you better not say Nothing about me to her She will cuss you the fuck out so, She can say all she want to But you better not say nothing So Hope you talk, You've talked to us About the blue suit There was a part about a gallbladder 
And Tim, are you making fun of me? No, I'm not. No, no. I'm asking you a question. I'm an asshole. I'm asking you a question. He's going to be a hard asshole. Please, bro. He's going to be a hard asshole. In the situation, in the situation, through this journey of friendship, what was the straw that broke the camel's back? What was the? What was the? What was the? You know, you remember in 1999 when we thought the world was going to end and everybody was out buying shit and Prince said it was the end of the world? I said. The, and then the next day, it wasn't the end of the world. And then 1990 oh, came in. Yeah, and I, I just said that, I just, it, you know, the new year, you purge people out of your life. You purge things out of your life. Oh. And I just decided that 1999, it was enough. It was enough. We ain't fucking. You ain't my bitch. You, we, I, it that, was enough. It was that we ain't fucking past tense? We ain't fucked. We oh, ain't fucking. She ain't even my type. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to get the meat here, guys. I got it. I'm I just, got it. I got it. I'm just trying it. to get the meat. And, <laughs> I got it. I got it. We, 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 you know, it wasn't that, and it was just toxic. And I just decided I didn't want that no more. Copy I cut that. a lot of motherfuckers off like that. She ain't the only one. Don't cut me off. Don't put don't me ever down. Don't cut me off. We, we've told me this story. And they asked me every time I come on. And now I got to tell a story. I'm going to ask you. A little deeper shit that you, you didn't. I, we're not going to tell. I'm going to ask you that. What's the deeper shit, Bo? Remember the, the promoter that y'all were. He, you got him so high, he was taking candles up the ass. You weren't sure. Who's was, this? What are you talking about? No, what that's not true. That's not true, Doc. That's not true. It wasn't, it wasn't candles. Oh, oh, I'm about to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we breaking? Are we rapping? Is that a rap? Candles. You don't got to cheer for shit like that. It wasn't candles, Bo. Me and Cheryl got stories to the motherfucking grave. Now, now she did. fun oh. on the road. She's a hoot. I, I miss that part. I miss the fun, Cheryl. I miss the yeah. fun. Yeah. I don't miss all the drama and the sad and the depressing shit. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, Bo. he was headlining Bo. last week here. <laughs> we'll be back after I clean this shit up. Oh my god! <laughs>